Hi, it's Tom from Digital Foundry giving you a look at how Star Wars Battlefront fares on a budget gaming PC. The game's final release comes with a string of performance updates over the beta build on Nvidia and AMD cards, and we wondered if a console grade experience might now actually be possible on a relatively low end PC. So as ever, we take our Intel i3-4130 processor and the trusty GTX 750Ti and pit it against equivalent scenes on PS4. In this case, we match PS4 settings as closely as possible. This means scaling to 900p, which we achieve by setting resolution scale to 83% via the game's graphics menu. On top of that, setting everything to high gets us very close to console visuals in terms of mesh quality, lighting and textures. The only exception is shadows are dialed back to medium while effects are set to low to match PS4 closely. So to the tests. Booting the Endor race mission is a great initial test for effects, and sadly the 750Ti just can't hold a locked 60fps. This is even with a 200MHz overclock to its core and a 400 boost to its memory. This car has been a great servant to us this generation in giving us a good or better than console level of visuals and frame rates. But sometimes console optimizations really make a difference and in Star Wars Battlefront we simply can't achieve a perfect lock at 60 frames per second at console settings. As you can see we get drops to the mid 50 frames per second line, though moving to later tests on the Tatooine survival mission it's not an issue at all. It's fair to say the card is mostly there, but these rough edges keep it from perfect parity with PS4. That being said, on a later test in the Overpower mission using an ATAT, even PS4 drops frames below 60 frames per second, where the 750Ti goes unscathed. It's an advantage here, but overall not quite the complete package in other missions, dropping the resolution further on this card to around 75% on the game's internal scaler, giving us a 1440x810 resolution, gets us back to the locked 60fps target. It's a compromise for performance, but one that bridges the gap at the cost to image quality, if that's your preference. So with the GTX 750Ti only barely out of the running here, we have to spend a bit more on a graphics card to match console. As you can see on the right, a GTX 950 at around £40 more does the job. Using the exact same budget PC processor, the end result is a perfect lock 60fps at 900p and with all settings ramped up to console spec. It's a brute force approach, but it shows it still is doable on a reasonable budget. All signs point to Star Wars Battlefront being very tightly optimised for console then. Even so, playing the game on a budget PC is certainly viable, as long as you're willing to accept a few occasional lurches down on the GTX 750Ti with an overclock, our CPU has plenty of overhead here, but for a perfectly locked 60fps experience you'll need that GTX 950 loaded in as well. My best anyway, that's our take on playing Star Wars Battlefront on a budget PC. Hope you found it useful, if so like or subscribe below, and until next time, thanks for watching.